Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Um, pretty much the last five beers that I've reviewed, I don't think I've got them on the first take. Um, and uh, yeah, the video for this one was at 13 minutes. I was not happy at all with you know what I'd picked up and what I'd you know talked about on camera. So I'm doing it again. Um, and hopefully I can streamline it and get straight to the point. So today's beer is a pumpkin beer um, in the middle of July. So um, not the best time to be drinking a beer like this. But spoiler alert, it's a really good beer. So yeah, as you can read by the title, it's from the Steamworks Brewery based in Canada. But they've also got uh, a brewery here in Germany. And uh, yeah. You know, Brewdog's got a bar here in Germany, um, Stone Brewing Company are doing beers here in Germany, I think even Urban Chestnut have an outfit here in Germany. And uh, it's great for Germany, it's great for Europe, you know, easy access to some really good, interesting beers. And uh, yeah, Steamworks, this will be the third beer that I've reviewed on my channel. Uh, by the time I've uploaded this one, I will have re-uploaded the two other beer reviews that I did on my old movie channel. Um... So yeah, from what I've tried so far from these guys, it's been top notch. It rarely has. And uh, yeah, speaking of top notch, phenomenal artwork once again. And uh, it looks great being printed or painted onto the glass, but it's such a shame that isn't a label because I'd definitely be keeping that one. But yeah, the graphic design on the Steamworks stuff is brilliant. You've got fantastic use of typography. You've got a great almost steampunk sort of theme with all of their beers. Uh, the imagery in general, I mean, look at that pumpkin. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, yeah, Steamworks Pumpkin Ale, 650ml bottle. And the beer itself is clocking in at 6.5% ABV. And, uh, yeah, some nice text on there about the beer and that sort of thing. And probably the best thing about this and something that I think a lot more breweries, both craft and traditional, should do is actually tell us what's in the beer. So, in terms of malts, we've got Pale Munich and Caramel Malts. It's brewed with Magnum Hops, and then the unique qualities of this one are, of course, the pumpkin, which I think is pumpkin puree, as well as cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg and cloves, and the IBU count is 25. I uh, don't really pay attention too much to the IBUs, to be honest. I probably should do, but I just don't, for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah, and it even tells you what the colour of the beer is, which on the label it's described as Autumn Sunset. And let me just pour a little bit more into the glass so I can actually show you what the beer looks like. And, yep, you've guessed it. I've already swigged a lot of it. Beer, beer in the glass and yeah, autumn sunset springs to mind, I think you'll agree. A really nice amber, orangey sort of colour, sort of like a burnt orange, that sort of thing. A uh, little bit of haze in there, but it has got some nice clarity and uh, nice levels of slow and steady carbonation. And uh, in terms of head, let's see if we can create a little bit of head. <coughs> Excuse me. The head itself, uh, as you can see, is slightly off white, a little bit khaki, and uh, yeah, nice small bubbles, nice compact, and resting really nicely. So, on the aroma, let's spin it without spilling it. Instantly hit with a vanilla, cinnamon sort of aroma. You're picking up uh, a combination of that like pale lager Munich malt as well as this like sweet caramel malt. Definitely picking up all those spices that I mentioned there. Uh, the most predominant being uh, the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Uh, you get the ginger, but it's more in the background. And uh, what else did they say? Nutmeg, uh, the cloves. Yeah, you do get that clove sort of vibe, but not as pronounced as maybe a wheat beer. It smells like a really nice and nutty 
banana bread. It smells a lot more cakey than it did when I first started reviewing this. Really strong vanilla flavour actually. That pumpkin, it's there, it's got that sort of earthiness, but <clears throat> pumpkin it's, itself I find doesn't really have a strong aroma. It's more like in the flavour and it's more to do with texture. And uh, yeah, I'm just, just taking a back at just how cinnamony and vanilla-y this beer is now. It was there when I first recorded this, you know, recorded the first video, but it's much more pronounced now, I don't know. Oh, it smells nice, it smells like a really nice cakey dessert. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. So far, it's, you know, ticking all the boxes, and that was a really feeble attempt at, pour at spinning the beer. I've never truly, you know, mastered the art of you know, swilling the bottle around so you can get a good aroma. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm going in for the taste. Cheers. Yeah. Just with the aroma, you're pretty much getting the same characteristics at the same level. The pumpkin, like I was saying before, you don't really taste it too much. But you definitely get it in the texture, and of course the you know the color as well. Um, but yeah, that cinnamony, cakey, nutty, like a really nice dense autumnal cake. Really nice mouthfeel. Where it's like one of these weird things where it's a it's a little bit thinner than I thought it would be. But it's got like a body to it as you drink it. And um, yeah, it, it, it tastes like what I would think a pumpkin ale would taste like. But that being said, it, it wasn't what I was expecting and I can't put my finger on it. I think this is one of those classic cases because I'm really unfamiliar with this style. The only other pumpkin related beer I've ever had excuse me, was the Witchwood Pumpkin, which was a good beer, but I wouldn't exactly say it was a good example of a pumpkin beer, pumpkin ale. Uh, you really didn't get anything related to pumpkin when I tried that a couple of years ago. It was more that like sweet spiciness, those dessert spices. So my point of reference with the beer style itself is non-existent. So I think I was building it up to be literally like drinking like a pumpkin pie in a glass. But you're not getting that. It's not as des it's not as sweet as that. But it's got definitely all an autumnal vibe. You definitely pick up the pumpkin. You definitely, definitely pick up that cinnamon. You pick up a, a nice flavour of vanilla. And you get those spices in the background. The ginger, now I'm thinking about it, not so much. Well, actually, yeah, it's got like the sort of like a, a little bit of sharpness from the ginger, but flavor wise, not too much. And what I like about this is, um, unlike um, like Wells and Young's stiffy, sticky toffee pudding, that to me, that tasted like it was just like flavorings added to the beer. This tastes natural, and I'm sure all those natural ingredients are there. But yeah, you get the pumpkin. Mixing really nicely with those pale Munich malts. And then you've got a nice little sweet edge from those caramel malts. Really nice malt build. Really nice base. And then those s sweet spices come in really, really nicely. Um, obviously, drinking this in the middle of July, not beneficial for the beer style. Because it is warming. I do get a slight alcohol warmth as it's going down. But come autumn, and especially around October, this is going to be perfect. If you know, you've got friends around on Halloween and you're having you know, a movie marathon, that sort of thing, get a couple of bottles of this for you and your friends. Chill, watch you know, your favourite horror films. It's going to work 
brilliantly in that regard. And it is a very high quality beer indeed. Very, very enjoyable. But I think I set myself up to fail because I do this a lot with beers that I've never tried before and styles that I've never tried before. I get an idea of what I think the style will be like in my head. And even though I might really, really enjoy that beer, it won't be what I've expected it to be. But this, pumpkin ale, it's a pumpkin ale. So, yeah, fantastic stuff. Definitely easy 8 out of 10. And I know for sure that come Halloween, come October, come autumn in general, um, this will definitely be another beer that I will be revisiting. Not necessarily for a review form, just to sit back and enjoy. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this autumn and uh, around Halloween um, I should be able to source some other pumpkin beers so I'm looking forward to that uh, the perfect antidote to those summer blues that I always seem to get because I fucking hate summer uh, but yeah this is really nice and I'm going to definitely enjoy the hell out of this for the rest of the evening so yeah take two wasn't as streamlined as I wanted it to be but at the end of the day, I don't really care. Um, I'd rather waffle on and have my opinions changed as I'm making the videos. I'd rather just you know go into a clumsy flow and produce a video. And uh, yeah, if you tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you've tried any of any of the other Steamworks uh, Brewing Company beers, let me know your thoughts and opinions on those as well. Uh, what are some of your favourite pumpkin? ales um let me know in the comments which ones i should look out for over the next few months and uh yeah check out my steamworks brewing company playlist down below as well as links to uh, steamworks breweries websites and social media outlets because they're a fantastic brewery and if you ever get the chance to uh try and get yourself a bottle of this because yeah 650 ml bottle um, not really that expensive even here in Germany so for the you know it's it's good value for money high quality beer and yeah come those autumn months this will go down even more of a treat um, I could probably give this a 9 out of 10 under the right circumstances but being as objective as I possibly can be it's an 8 out of 10 that's a really good score by anyone's book so not like I'm complaining and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, where thankfully I'm limited to like, 40 characters or so. Uh, even though I think Twitter's evolved since then, I'm not too sure. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll subscribe for more beer reviews. And speaking of which, I hope you'll join me for my next beer review. So thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you later.